Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And today, hey, you know, if you watched my last video, it's like I've been a Amazon bookseller now for three days. Uh, actually, I haven't sold any books. I haven't shipped any to Amazon, but I've been prepping, right? I have this strategy and I've been prepping and I have some observations, some thoughts after just three days. It's, it's kind of an interesting psychology for me coming from a long time eBay reseller selling books on eBay to the, um, the Amazon game. So I thought it'd be, it'd be interesting maybe to share that and, you know, probably even get, and get some feedback from you guys that are, are very experienced on Amazon to, to what my observations are. So, you know, before I jump into that, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for the channel support. Um, you know, subscribe, hit those like buttons. Uh, hopefully all this stuff that I do helps somebody. So, Again, I appreciate it and, um, you know, do all that. We'll just keep doing it, see what happens. So, all right, jumping into the topic at hand after my three days of being an Amazon, you know, bookseller, uh, the first thing I've noticed is that there's definitely a different men mentality. I need a different mentality, I believe, when I'm getting books and getting books for to sell on Amazon. And what I've noticed, I think this one hit, hit home, you know, my strategy was to first start just scanning through my existing inventory and my death pile and seeing things that maybe I want to send to Amazon and just try selling that way, just to start building inventory and that sort of thing. And what I've noticed is there's a lot of items. I mean, I'm, I've probably maybe have 20 books already I've pulled, but I've got a lot of items that are high BSR. These are probably collectible books. Or, and I've got a lot of books that don't have ISBN numbers and which takes, I guess, you know, adding those in. I hadn't, I'm not even worrying about that yet, right? So the big thing is I'm seeing high, you know, BSR numbers. And what I don't want to do, what my intuition tells me, as well as I think it's good advice from Mike, the, the used book guy on his channel, is it's it's really the same as all I do on my eBay channel, is a diversity of, you know, you want books that are going to sell faster, some books that are going to sell longer. And, you know, I think the longer tail, the long tail items the promise of that is that you want maybe some higher value books there. Although obviously we'd love to have high value books so fast too, right? But I think from you don't, I don't want to send a lot of high BSR numbers, you know, everything's above 5 million or something into my Amazon store and then it just be crickets, right? I want to have a mix and try to get items that I think are going to sell maybe quicker first, right? Then my strategy is to build that inventory with items that are higher value, longer tail, you know, middle, moderate values, you know, that, that sitting that, getting that trigger that's going to, you know, if, it, if it's going to sit there longer, I want to have the bigger win, right? But I think my mentality, you know, I'm not a guy that goes through and just scans every book. I look at it with my, my eyes, my intuition, my gut, my sixth sense, and I pick books. And I think what I have done because of my eBay market is, and what it's showing when I scan a lot of my inventory to try to pick what I'm going to send, I think what it shows is that I am heavily invested in what I know, what I understand has been more on that collectible special interest side. So for me, I think that's going to be a, a, a strategy, a, le a learning opportunity to be positive, right? Everything's an opportunity, a learning opportunity. Um, on how to get different classes of books. And, you know, I'm not doing this, like I said earlier on my previous video, I'm not doing this to stop selling on eBay. I'm doing this to diversify and to do something different and learn different, you know, all those reasons, even though I do have some mechanical reasons with maybe storage space and shipping that I wanna, I wanna see if this works better for me. But anyway, it's really just to diversify and let me, you know, do things, different things too. So um, I do think though, I don't want to overthink it. I mean, I'm still gonna be selling on eBay, but I do think there's, for me, there's a mentality. And for example, I went to a, um, a thrift store today and I did my usual pass through just pulling things off the shelf, right? And um, things that I want to, that I think would work for me and my eBay lookups. And then I actually did another pass through and I didn't scan everything, but I did some lookups with Amazon in mind, right? And actually I picked up a couple of other things that were, they were pretty, look like they're going to be pretty quick sellers. I may only make $3 off of them, $4. But if I'm sending stuff in, they sell quick. That's easy, right? That's good. So anyway, that's a difference in mentality that I'm going to have to, to adjust and, and you know, see how it works together with my, my traditional eBay strategy, which I'm set in. The 
the next thing that I've noticed is that um, I can see why scanning is attractive for Amazon because of those BSRs and that feedback and being able to scan, 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 you get things you're gonna make a quick two bucks off, a quick $5 off, a quick $30 off or something you can make that decision. I can see where scanning becomes very attractive for that Amazon bookseller. So that's something you know I haven't traditionally done. I don't think I'll become a scanner person like all the time, but you know I think I will use it in con the right way for me, right, in conjunction. That said, using just right now, I'm just using the, the lookups on the scanning with the Amazon seller app and, you know, going down and you have to drill down. I can see why like something like Scout IQ is, is powerful and popular and necessary because on the Amazon app, you know, there's information there, right? You scan it, you, but you get it. You have to go to the item. You see the sales rank. You know, the BSR, you, but then you have to go to used, you hit another tab and then you have to pick whether, Hey, would I be selling this merchant fulfilled or, or, or FBA, Amazon fulfilled. And it gives you the price estimate, you know, of your cost, which then you can, you know, you can subtract your book costs and your shipping costs do the mental math there and get an idea, but you're, you you drill down. So beyond like Scout IQ's things, you know, where it gives you, you know, their their number that says, hey, this is awesome, and and the ability to set triggers to, to to let you alert. In addition to that, just on the Amazon, it's so bulky going down through those multiple things. It's such a, I can see why a service like Scout IQ. I can already see that as I do this, I'll be I'll be going to that as well. So that that's kind of like an eye opener for me for someone who's never used those tools to to see that automatically I can see how that's, that is something that has to happen. But the number one takeaway that I have probably gotten in my three days of extensive experience is on Amazon, I think more so than eBay, I think pricing is paramount. I think that pricing on Amazon is, there's more strategy and it's a little more complexity. And I, I say this because, you know, on eBay, you look things up, you get comps. You have sold comps, you have list comps. You can decide if you want to, you know, just be right at that comp. If depending on what else is still listed, you can, pro you know, it's like, okay, it's, it's kind of like you're, you know, it's in kind of the haggle market, right? And then you turn best offers on, you can price it a little high and you turn best offers on and, and those play out. And it's kind of like, makes it kind of, to me, a lot more straightforward on Amazon what I see wanting to do FBA for me is, you know, the, the pricing between the used, the FBA and making sure you have the low price to get the buy box and pricing that right. So that you're not leaving money on the table. I think that is what is, there's a, there's a lot of learning I have to do there. And I'm sure I'm going to make mistakes as I learn. And again, I'm going to let leverage, uh, plug him again. Cause I can't, say too much about him. You know, my, the used book guy is the channel, Mike, he's got a great channel. If you hadn't subscribed and you're doing Amazon, you should subscribe to him because he is the Amazon man and, and gives so much great information. I'm learning so much from his, his stuff, but that, that pricing not to leave money on the table, it's, it's not just to ID the book, but when you, you set your sales price to get that sale immediately and not let it go too cheap. Um, I think that balance and that, that knowledge, learning that is key for Amazon. I can see that already. So how to set price points on, on your sales. And I know you can, re, you've got repricers and other things that, that, that come into that later. But um, anyway, that's it. I see, that's what I've learned in three days or what I observe. I don't know if I've just, I probably just observed it more than learned it. Right. So, but I envision me, for me, I, just, I I'm excited about it because like I said, I love my eBay store, my eBay business. I don't see, you know, turning that off anytime soon. I see a path forward where these two things are going to work together for me and for what I want to do with, with reselling books. So I'm um, excited about it. It's the journey. I call this part one, you know, three days ago was part zero. So um, again, thank you for the views. Uh, you know, I'll keep posting this stuff. Hopefully it doesn't bore you to death and you're like, oh, get over it already. Just put them on Amazon and sell. We don't care. Um, but it's, you know, it, it is, 
it is something new and it does make me appreciate when somebody gets into it brand new with no backs back history of book selling you know there is there's a learning curve there and you know for for you guys out there that are thinking about selling books just know for somebody that I would say I'm a pretty experienced eBay seller. There's a learning curve for me on this. I know if you're starting eBay new, there's a learning curve for you. But here's the deal. Just jump in and do it. That's what I'm doing. I know I'll make mistakes, but it's okay. I'll learn along the way and I'll get I'll get the Amazon running just like my eBay. But anyway, that's my observations. Uh, hopefully you thought they were uh, worth the time. Again, thanks for the view and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.